What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are bringing an updated video of one of my most requested videos for eFootball 2024 and it is with the emergence of Vieira with Silva with a lot of these really good defensive midfielders slash CMFs which is best you know what happens on the pitch player ID physicality strength speed what stats to upgrade so we are going to be taking a complete look let's get straight into it all right so we're firstly going to start by defining what an anchorman and a destroyer are right by the game's definition now obviously skills stats player id animations all of that comes into it right an anchorman is essentially what you're seeing on screen we'll get into that in a second right but I've already done a video with a couple of different examples, right? This is going to be a video um, where we're going to feature some real-life examples with Vieira, and we're going to show you where the meta is kind of now of how to just dominate in central midfield. Because central midfield and CMF and DMF, whatever you want to call them, it's all about turning your opposition over and actually being able to do something with the ball. And this is what Anchorman and Destroyer can do, right? They can work in tandem, or else you can decide between the two of them. An anchorman is a deep-sitting defensive midfielder protecting the back line, and a destroyer is a tenacious battler who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing. We're not going to overcomplicate this, lads, right? It's, it's very simple, okay? Literally, what you're going to want to have from your anchorman is high defensive awareness and being able to sit back as an extra centre-back. That's essentially what you're going to see here in all these clips, right? We're going to break it down further and uh, go from there and show you exactly the strengths and the weaknesses. Whereas on the other hand, right, with a destroyer who we'll get to in a second, it's a bit more aggressive, like kind of in-your-face defending. So with an anchorman, I would say that it's probably more passive um, than you might be used to if you are an aggressive base player. I would say that having an anchorman as part of a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 or whatever formation you want to use, a 5-3-2, 5-2-3, 3-5-3, doesn't really make a difference. An anchorman is going to do the same job, right? High tackling, aggression, defensive engagement are a must, as are those player skills, okay? And you're going to see time and time again, right? It's not so much what the anchorman does um, on the ball, it's going to be what he does off the ball, right? So you will see here that he acts as an extra center back when the AI are controlling him. You can only control one player at a time. You're dependent on your AI to do it. And a lot of people that are struggling with the game at the moment don't really kind of like feed into that. They don't really let the AI do enough for them, which I don't personally like, but that's where the game is at. And what you want with your CB or your extra anchorman is to kind of like sit back into those pockets and he acts as somebody that is just able to mop up everything. This is a brilliant example here. We'll slow it down um, and show you exactly what it, what's happening here, right? We've got Declan Rice who's sitting back as our anchorman. Declan Rice has had multiple different cards. Some are destroyer, some are anchorman. So he's a good card to see the player ID differences between each card. You can see here with Declan Rice, right? We have thrown deep line on him. We'll get to that in a second with the advanced instructions. But also, we're going to be dependent on the AI to position him, right? And we'll see this a little bit more um, with the destroyers in a second. Speaking of destroyers, right, obviously Vieira is probably the big name on the list at the moment. You've got Silva as an anchorman and you've got Vieira as a destroyer that are kind of the meta at the moment. I would also throw in Makalele in here. You're going to see a couple of clips from Makalele here as well. I genuinely think that this is probably the most overpowered player in the game at the moment because the game is all about turning your, your opponent over, getting, you know, the passing lanes blocked up and clogged up and being a disruptor. So tackling, aggression, high stats are a must, and the same three stats, interception, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit. Yes, blocker is a, is, is, is a definite upgrade on this, but if you do have to train blocker on some of the players, sometimes you can get away with it, right? So again, destroyer, what does it do? What are you going to be looking to do with it? Uh, well, a destroyer is going to be an aggressive disruptor and a chase down midfielder, use him to manually defend, cut space, and the passing lanes. Now you're going to see that this is going to be a little bit more risky, kind of a little bit more Roy Keane, right? Where you're going to be kind of like going into tackles and not letting your opponents kind of cut you down, right? Now we've stopped the gameplay here, right? Watch the amount of space that Vieira has. He goes from an attacking left midfielder position and we lose the ball, right? After the first attack of the game from kickoff, we go down the flank, carry with Vieira and lose it. And watch how much ground he covers on the flip side of that. This is what you want with your destroyer. He just eats ground. And that's why you need to have players that suit your play style, right? The same with Makalele. We're just hassling. We're letting our AI sit back. We've got our uh, three-man center back back. We've got our right back fine. Makalele is going to go out and win that ball on his own, right? So you will see time and time again, as I've said earlier, right? When the AI is defending for you or the AI is positioning for you, 
uh, destroyers auto defend at a really high rate. That's a mixture of his high aggression stat and his interception skill, and also a couple of other fa fe features that go into it and factors that go into it, right? But essentially, the destroyer will cover all the pitch, and he's more man focused and more defensively focused than a box to box, which is more about going forward with the ball and back when you don't have the ball, right? And you'll see there that Vieira just practically wins the ball for me, right? You can see it there. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? So, what I would say is, right, if you are worried about positioning, I would say that if you take a look at even base Vieira stats, right, and we'll get a look at Casemiro in a second, who's a good anchorman to have a look at, you will see here that it's all going to be about a couple of different features with him. We'll show you the best build there. We've already done a video on that. But, like, look, a destroyer and anchorman, they play two very similar roles, um, or two very different roles, but they can play in a similar formation, okay? Do I recommend a destroyer and an anchorman? Um, within this formation that you're going to be playing or any formation that you're going to be playing. Personally, I would. I think that if you are throwing on a couple of different factors into this card, I would say what you're seeing on screen here now is going to be the individual instructions. I would always 100%. Yes, you can come you know, undone by a top class player. I'm talking like top 500 in the world. But for all intents and purposes, deep line on Anchorman with a high defensive awareness and... Uh, you know, good stats going forward or going back with the ball, you will be fine. He will cover a lot of the gaps that you probably leave. And if you want to chase and harry and hassle, you can do that with your destroyer in a more manual way. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, I don't want to overcomplicate it, lads. You know, I don't really want to overcomplicate it because for most people, um, this is essentially, you know, the top two things that this anchorman and destroyers do. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like and subscribe the video. And let me know if you want to see more of these. We will probably do an up next a fox in the box versus a goal poacher, or maybe a destroyer center back versus a build up or something like that. So let me know. And if you want to see a box to box video, let me know on that as well. It's more of an attack and based kind of uh, play style, right? But I would say to round up, okay? Play styles only tell the picture half, um, or only paint half the picture, I should say, right? Because you're going to have a lot of instances where you your player is going to be defending by themselves with the AI controlling that, right? And if you want to have a look at that, you can go into the AI matches on Legend and see how your AI is defending when you're simming the games, okay? So yeah, that is it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.